The pandemic has been raging for about nine months now, and our understanding of the virus has changed dramatically. Tonight, an epidemiologist answers your questions about how far we've come and how much farther we still have to go. How much has changed since the start of the pandemic? A lot, a lot. I think we have a lot better understanding of viral dynamics. I think we have a lot better understanding of the natural history of the disease. I think we have a lot more sophisticated understanding of how to prevent transmission. And then, of course, we have all the vaccines on top of everything. Why is mask wearing political? It shouldn't be. I mean, this is about saving lives. We don't make stopping at stop signs political. You know, it's simply um, not the right thing to not not the right cause to be taking up. We're trying to save lives. We're trying to save the, the economy. We're trying to see, do all those things at the same time. And a simple thing is a thing as simple as wearing a mask and maintaining a little social distance. I don't think is too much to ask over the next couple of months until we have vaccine widely available. What grade would you give the US? D. I mean, I think we've done the vaccine part right. That's it. You know, to lead, let the 50 states go their own ways and, and not have a unified national policy or strategy, I think is really problematic. What grade would you give California? I give California about a B plus, uh, maybe an A minus. We've done much better than other states, although right now we're in a horrible surge, especially in Southern California. The Valley's not 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 exempt from this. Uh, and, um, you know, we just have to do a better job. When will things get back to normal? Depends on what proportion of people get vaccinated. If we end up with 40% of people vaccinated, we'll be wearing masks next year, this time. If we end up with 60 to 70% of people getting vaccinated, we may, be, we may be free and clear by August. Are vaccines the answer? To paraphrase the president-elect's new chief of staff, vaccines aren't going to save a single life. Vaccination will save lives. So having the vaccines doesn't mean anything unless we can put it into people's arms. So that means creating not only the logistics and the system for actually administering the vaccine, but also getting people to want them and to show up for them.